Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Use of Custom. My name is Alex. Today we are going to try really hard to get these seats in. Let's get to it. All right. So I did get I did get these brackets from Amazon. They're supposed to fit in Miata, and they mostly do. Um, the passenger side does fit the seat for the most part. I do got to drill it out a little bit to get it to fit right. So I got to kind of extend it down a little bit here on the other side. <clears throat> and it should fit well. The, I think the problem was going to be getting the, the bolts on. I really want to try to get this on without having the rails on. Just to have that extra clearance. I'm a big boy, so I can get that extra headroom. And these seats are pretty big. Um, with the rails on, mocked up, they are maybe an inch from the roof line. So I like to get it as low as possible and to get me as low as possible in the car. So that's what we're going to do today. Five or eight bits are the best. Except, how am I going to get the bolts on? That's a whole other story. Because this thing doesn't slide, we have to be really slick with the way I put these bolts in. Whew. Okay, and like that, we are in. Wonder. Hmm. Oops. Oof, look at that. 
Uh oh, that might be a problem later, but I might have to full mech to me the the driver's side, the passenger side will be fine, but we are sending them out to get we are bolstered anyways, so I can just tell, tell the guy, mark one of the seats and say, hey, bring down. It's really it's really down underneath my, my thighs. That's where I get a lot of my height from. But this is not terrible for a two hundred dollar set of seats. This is not bad. I mean door closes too, I'm pretty sure to see. Door closes. Oh. Pretty tight. And I'm the the reason why I got these seats is because they fit me very well. And I was worried about spending, you know, two hundred dollars per seat and having them not fit me very well. I did ask around the forum for a bit in the Facebook group. And I was looking at some Sparkle Sprints because a lot of tall people said they, they work for them. But I saw the opportunity for these used seats. And they fit me well. They were cheap. So I went with them. And, you know, that plus the reupholstery is going to cost me about what, I, what it will cost for new seats. Um, the seat track was like 60 bucks, Not bad. I do have to modify the driver's side because these seats are, the holes where they mount are wide. And the seat track itself um, isn't wide enough, or the seat bracket isn't wide enough for it. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, I'm going to I'm going to clean up the driver's side. I'm going to vacuum out the car, and then I'm going to put the driver's seat back on. And I'm going to see about getting some metal so I can modify this. All right, guys. So the passenger side does fit. It does bolt up. So that side's good to go. So the only thing is the driver's side. The bracket itself is narrower. So you can see here I have, they are edge to edge here. They're edge to edge here and you can see that the passenger side is longer than the driver's side. So that's fine and all for like a regular seat. Um, these will probably be probably be very good for your stock seats if you're a tall guy like me and you want to just have your seat be lower um, these will work pretty well on these stock seats the problem is is these uh, the racing seats that I got um, they are wider so they do not fit this let me show you guys here is the seat here is the bracket like as you can see on both sides it is not reaching Front to back, they are very close to being the fitting. I might have to do the same modification as the other one. So to fix this, I went to the hardware shop and I bought myself some metal brackets. My plan is to either weld them sideways like this or have them stick out past just a little bit on each side. Cut them up and have them stick out a little bit and then triangulate them here and here. Same on each corner and just wall them all up. Um, I did, I bought what I could. The hardware store didn't have a lot. Yeah, this isn't ideal, but it is high strength, it's 12 gauge steel, and it does not bend. With all my force on it, it does not bend at all. So this should be pretty good. Slightly thinner than the stuff the seat has, but it should be all right. Let's get to it. I always mark what side I don't want with the next side is the size that I want with the check mark just to make sure that um, that I don't cut the wrong side because usually I need to give myself a little bit of an edge on the side I don't want.
gotta cut it. So, um, this weld, I just, I tacked it and I let go too quickly. And before the weld solidified, I let it go and I just saw the metal just pop up. And I wanted to go clamp it again. It was already hardened. So, that's a fun little lesson to me. Don't want to clamp it until you know the weld is good and hardened up. Probably really over engineering this, but it's my butt on the seat, so <laughs> making sure that this is nice and toy.
All right, how I had to do a lot of drilling, a little bit of sawing, but all four bolts attached now. So that'll wrap it up for tonight. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for tonight, guys. As you can see behind me, it is dark. I've been working on this all day. I had to do a couple things in between um, shots. I had to go run to Home Depot to get some stuff. I had to go to AutoZone to get some stuff for my next projects, which I'm very excited for. So please don't uh, forget to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.